Now we come to the marriage vows. The seal of the vows you're about to make will you take each other by the right hand. And as witnesses of these vows, the congregation please stand. Please me. <laughs> Before our family and friends. Before our family and friends. I, Richard, take you, Elaine. I, Richard, take you, Elaine. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise and covenant. I promise and covenant. To be a loving, faithful, and dutiful husband to you. To be a loving, faithful, dutiful husband to you. <laughs> Till death shall part us. Till death shall part us. Before God and... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Before our family and friends. Before our family and friends. I, Elaine, take you, Richard. I, Elaine, take you, Richard. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I promise and covenant. I promise and covenant. To be a loving, faithful, and dutiful wife to you. To be a loving, faithful, and dutiful wife to you. Till death shall part us. Till death shall part us. Now you're stuck. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well done, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> By this covenant that you have made, you have bound yourselves to live together as husband and wife. And as a token of that covenant, these rings are given and received. May they be the outward expression of the holy love that binds you, that giving and receiving, you may be united by the Lord himself, sharing all that lies before you, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness or in health, to love and to cherish, until death shall part you. In the light of the love that led you here, and of the covenant that you have made this moment, I declare you to be husband and wife. And as your first act together as a married couple, receive the blessing of God. May the love of God unite you, the joy of God fill your heart, the peace of God rest upon your home, and the strength of God equip you both to serve him together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, Richard, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting a long while for that wee permission now. <laughs> <laughs> now we have another reading as my Richard's mother Patty. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitement a marriage should bring. And may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you to know your fullness. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of luck. May you entice, but not compel one another. May you embrace, but not encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with one another and not fail in little graces. May you look for things to praise, often say, I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may, you both, may both of you hope to have good sense enough to take the first step back. May you enter into the mystery which is the awareness of one another's presence, no more physical than spiritual, warm and near when you are side by side, and warm and near when you are in separate rooms or even distant cities. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy, and may you have love, and may you find it loving one another. Cheers, <laughs> ma'am.
And now a short reading from the most famous chapter that St. Paul ever wrote, anyway, in the New Testament, 1 Corinthians 13. 